pretty happy that uh, now everyone starts to talk about uh, social media abuse, racism, discrimination, because uh, I think it's been it's been going on for years now, and nothing has been done. And now people are just saying enough, enough is enough. So we need to we need to make a statement. We need to do something. Um, and I know I know players, I know teammates. Um, that have faced discrimination, racism. Uh, I've been subject uh, about racism as well, about discrimination, about abuse on social media. Um, and I, uh, I think it's not, it's not okay to just go on social media and um, say anything you want um, and being anonymous. For me, it's just, it's just too easy. And now we need a change. And I think the clubs uh, around the Premier League, around the Championship, around all the England uh, are working uh, to make um, to make to make a change, to make a statement. And the players as well, you know, um, we are, we just we just can't take it anymore. Um, you know, people think because we are footballers, um, they can they can say anything to us, really. Uh, if we have a bad performance, if we don't win, if you don't score, um, they will start to abuse you, uh, to discriminate, discriminate you on online. Um, and it's just just horrible. Uh, so now, now, now it's good because I think we are making uh, changes now. Uh, players, clubs, uh, people uh, in general uh, are just I've just had enough. So when I was in, I actually had to move primary schools um, when I was a kid um, because of discrimination. Um, where I was from up north, that I think in my in my village, I think I was the only person of colour, and um, everyone else was white in my village. And that I, I don't, I don't even know if some people have ever seen anybody that didn't have white skin, um, and I kind of suffered with that. Which just sounds crazy for it to happen in primary school, like when you're only sort of five, six, seven years old, but it did. Um, but I moved to um, a Catholic school about five miles down the road and um, the attitude was completely different there. And I never really experienced it then until um, I was playing for Great Britain in the World Student Games in Kazan. Um, and before we went out, uh, we were in a holding camp in Moscow. Um, I think we played like Russia, under 23 women, maybe. Pretty sure it was, yeah. And they were saying things on the pitch to basically the players of colour. Um, and the referee was sort of turning a blind eye to it. Um, even some of the tackles that were going in, the referee was just pretending like it wasn't happening. Uh, yeah, I would say I had quite a couple uh, in terms of at school. Uh, starting from uh, primary school, I, had, I also have a little brother. Uh, it wasn't directly at me, but we did have to move school because of some instance, instances with with teachers, uh, which we did end up moving school. And after after a while, it was all fine. But I think also in secondary school, uh, when in history class, uh, I think it was Black Black History Month, and we were watching in Black History Month, we watched like Roots and Kunta Kinte and about slavery. I think I, I still remember, like after after watching after watching that, like just that lunchtime, a lot of a lot of people were just like, oh, they would call you Kunta Kinte, they would call you Roots, they would pretend to uh, they would pretend to uh, like whip you with like uh, headphones and stuff like that, uh, which is obviously it's, it's not good. Like mm. getting called Kunta Kinte after watching what black people have suffered through. And they're just making a joke out of it. It's not. It's not exactly. It's not exactly very welcoming. With uh, Brighton, you know, after our game, after the first lockdown last season, we played Arsenal, and with a contact, the uh, Arsenal keeper got injured with me. Yeah. And I had some really bad abuse online, and with the club, we've uh, reported it to the police, and that person uh, will face. Uh, we we'll face the consequence of his actions, uh, and that's really important because we need a we need to send a message uh, that will not be tolerated. And if 
you discriminate someone, if you abuse someone, uh, if you have racist, uh, racist words on someone, you will have to face the consequences. And that is really important.